Hello everyone, Revac Tech here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 6S Plus one week later. So, let's begin. So, I've had this iPhone 6S Plus for an entire week, and I want to review it. And how has it been compared to my last phone, the iPhone 6S? And why exactly did I upgrade if you missed the last video? So, I'm going to talk about that. So, first of all, I have switched from the iPhone 6S 64GB in space gray to the iPhone 6S Plus 120GB in rose gold. And yes, I'm using a, a pink case with the uh, rose gold phone. I don't know. I, I just don't care, honestly, you know, because some people do absolutely hate rose gold and just pink colors in general or like girly colors. I just don't understand that, to be honest. In my opinion, all colors are, are treated to me as equal. There's no boy or girl color. And yes, I do know that gir pink is meant usually for girls and blue is meant for boys and stuff like that. And to be honest, I could care less, okay? All colors to me are just fine. I, I don't care. I, I would use anything that's pink. It doesn't really matter. It, it You know, I could use a pink phone, pink car, pink computer. I don't really care. It could be, it's exactly the same as using a blue computer or a blue car or whatever. It just does not matter to me if the device is pink or silver or gold or rose gold or space gray. It just does not matter. So as you can see, uh, this... Um, this is the iPhone 6S Plus. Uh, after a whole week, um, I've actually had very good battery life. Um, now, this is running iOS 11.1 Beta 3. I just updated to this yesterday, uh, Monday the 8th, 16th. And today, as um, recording this video, the Beta 3 actually decreases my battery performance just a little bit. But I usually get around 8 hours of on-screen time watching YouTube and using Bluetooth. So um, that is actually a lot better than my last iPhone 6S that I'm using as a main camera now. Uh, that thing would get me like 2.5-3 hours. The same use. It's just... Ugh. It, it was bad. But um, I actually ran a Geekbench. Let me just open that up real quick. Alright, so here is iOS 10.3.3. As you can see, there's 10.3.3. And here is iOS 11.1 .1 Beta 3. So there is 2507, 4258. As you can see, the uh, it has decreased in multi-core, um, and uh, it has increased just by a little bit on single-core for iOS 11.1 .1 compared to iOS 10.3.3. And yes, this phone did come with iOS 10.3.3, but I have chosen to update it to iOS 11.1. .1 because the phone that I'm using now to record this is running iOS 10.3.3 and will permanently be on iOS 10.3.3 as long as I keep it, which should be forever. Now, let me just show you real quick how much storage I have. All right, so as you can see, I have the, um, okay, so as you can see, I have the device right here is running iOS 11.1. .1, and as you can see, the model number starts with an N. This means it is a replacement from Apple Care. And, yeah, my serial number is blocked out, but I have 86 gigabytes left of 128. So, yeah, overall, I am loving this phone. It is, it's is—it's—it's a little bit faster than my old phone, I have noticed a bit. Um, not by too much, actually. Um, I could This could be just, uh, like, subconscious in my head, I could be thinking that. But um, I've actually really liked some of the features that I completely forgot that the Plus models have, such as OIS, Optical Image Stabilization, and a 1080p display. I completely forgot about that stuff and it is just so much better like I filmed a quick video outside and I was moving around a bit and usually my 6s would shake like this in the video and stuff like that and this one is completely still and it maybe sometimes would move up and down but the OIS mixed with the software stabilization makes it very good and very pleasing to the eye and um, yeah it's just overall been a great experience for me um, I, I am going to be getting the iPhone 8 and December so that will be just fine I think um, maybe even later than that I have no idea but uh, I will have this phone for a few months now uh, I'm completely happy with it I don't care if it's an iPhone 8 or iPhone 7 like I said it is completely fine it works for me it does what I need it to do and yeah so I really do love how the plus models have this feature it's just so it's so funny to me and not really funny it's more just entertaining just sit there and scroll landscape I don't know. Well, hopefully you do enjoy this video, and if you did, please smack the like button. Follow my Twitter, Instagram, links will be in the description. And as always, this is Revac Tech, signing out.